Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I haven't seen you guys in forever. Since the pandemic started. Yeah, what happened? You guys were gone for like two years. Yeah. We were staying safe, staying indoors, like almost everybody else. Yeah, I used to talk to you guys um, because uh, uh, I have family that's our Jehovah's Witness. I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. Um, I'm a Christian, but I, uh, I was like, man, what happened? Did you guys, uh, maybe your religion was finished or something? Or? No, not at all. We were even more active. We were doing our ministry, phones, letters, stuff like that. Wait, how were you guys more active if you guys were not on the street? We were talking to more people than what we do when we're out here, believe it or not. So you guys have more numbers? We were whoever we spoke with and we talked to somebody sometimes even with their family members that lived in other parts of the city so you know mm. my fiance she got a uh she got a um a letter from you guys one time but it was only once i don't know if you know a lady named betty mm. it depends if what congregation she's in i'm oh, kind of guys... new in the area so yeah. i'm still learning everybody's name but in my congregation it's a spanish congregation oh is it yeah we're in the spanish congregation how long have you been a witness? For over 23 years. 23 years? So you've probably seen a lot of changes then. All for the good, absolutely. Um, I got uh, I got a couple questions. Um, I hope I could answer them. And yeah, if yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. find the answer for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why why was it that from, the, from uh, we'll say, uh, 1975? Um, from 19, or 1975 is probably the last time you guys did it, but... Why did you guys used to um, predict the end of the world? Why, why did they do that? Well, that's basically the lack of understanding. It's yeah. like, a, you know, we're human, we make mistakes. But even through the scriptures, that's why they rectified that way of thinking. Based on what the scripture said, they came to that conclusion. But when the more in-depth study of the scriptures, they were able to find we were missing this piece of the puzzle. Yeah. And this piece of the puzzle. And it's like everything, you know, we make a decisions in life and sometimes we think this is the best way yeah we go this route and then we realize oh wait a minute i needed this this and the other to make all of this go right and then the understanding became clear that's why they had to rectify that particular understanding and that's not even the only one there's several things that have been rectified throughout the years and yeah. everything has a basis and we go back to the scriptures there so you guys were article. you right there was an article that came out that even explain all that different understanding. I remember reading it. It's been a while. Yeah. But we always have a basis. We always go back to the scriptures and they'll explain why that change had to make, had to be made. Right? So you guys were basing the end of the world prediction off of the scriptures. Exactly. Then why didn't any other Christian denomination do the same thing? That's a good question. The only Jehovah's Witnesses. That's a pretty good question. Yeah. I haven't asked anybody else that question. Yeah, that, that is, that, but that's a pretty interesting question, it right? It is. And, and it wasn't just one time. It was multiple times that you guys predicted the end of the world. Yeah. Right? 